Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Loa. I'm gonna watch Twin Peaks Season 2, Episode 20. I'm close to the end of this Season 2 of Twin Peaks. Not a lot of episodes to end the Season 2. Yes, after that, I'm gonna watch the movie Firewalk with me. Yes, after that, I plan to watch also the season 3 of Twin Peaks. And yes, after all of that, I plan to watch also the, the edited things, you know, how do you call it? You know, all of the, the scenes which were cut from season 1, from season 2, from season 3, and even from the movie. And they put all of that together and they made, you know, a movie with them. Normally I'm gonna watch all of that, normally I'm gonna react to all of that. I say normally because you know it's as long as I'm making these reaction videos, as I continue my channel, you know that it's difficult, <laughs> that times are difficult for everyone, so for now I plan to do this. so. We'll see <laughs> if I'm still gonna be there for doing all of that, but that's what I plan to do. Okay! This episode 20 of the season 2 of Twin Peaks, I'm glad to discover it today. I need to change my mind. You know, guys, that these last weeks were difficult into my family uh, for a lot of different reasons. And it's continuing because my sister who was operated last week. She came back into the hospital today and I went to, to be with her because she had a panic attack. So. I was there for her so really like it has been more than three weeks now that I have the emotion that I'm just going in and out of hospitals and not for me for other people and you know the mood everything everything is so heavy everything is so you know a lot that I'm really each time sitting on this couch watching these videos and all with you with really the intention to be in a total other universe mood, you know, feeling. And with Twin Peaks, I want weird stuff. I want a total change of mood. I want also to lose because we had some uh, funny moments during the last episode. So I'm expecting, you know, something totally different. And with what is happening right now into Twin Peaks, I'm expecting also puzzles. I'm expecting to have answers now I want answers, but I'm expecting also to have even more questions than before. With all of the situation with the old cave, I'm a little confused and suspicious with what is happening, with what happened also. Like, I'm not sure that we saw everything that happened into that old cave. The fact that we had our guys going into it, discovering that stick, touching to it, but we didn't see what happened when they touched it. Then we had Window going into it. Window, we saw him touching it and we saw that suddenly the entire cave, you know, was moving and all of that. So why didn't we see what happened for our guys when they were into it? And after that, next episode, we are seeing our guys going back into it, like they forgot something or like they had new information. Like, you know, all of that drawing on the wall it was like, oh, first time that we are seeing it. You came before into the cave and you didn't see it. I don't understand. And that drink for me looks like a map. That fire with that symbol representing the stick. But for me, all of the other things, it was, I mean, it is places in Twin Peaks in which something happened, happens, or is gonna happen. Do you understand what I mean? Oh, I don't know. You know the fact that the log ladies, the fact that major bricks, they had their own symbols. For me, in fact, they are on that map. Their symbols are on that map. And in fact, what happened to them, why they had that symbol, it's at the place of Twin Peaks where they had it. Do you understand what I mean? For me, it's a map. That's all of what 
I think it's a map. The fact that our guy didn't see it the first time, I don't understand it. The fact that we didn't see what happened when Cooper touched that stick the first time, I don't understand. What happened truly when Wyndham turned the stick, I don't understand. I don't understand a lot of things with that cave and I have the impression that they didn't show us everything in fact. That's my theory for now. <laughs> like I have that theory that Annie is the new queen of art of Cooper and because of that she's gonna be Wyndham's target. Wyndham discovered about these two kissing and all of that so Wyndham is gonna try to do something against her I think. I have also that theory about Donna's family, about the fact that Donna's mom had a baby with someone else, someone who sent all of these letters, that someone could have been the guy who died and the guy that Wyndham said that he was. Something right there, something going on right there. Benjamin is involved, Benjamin knew about this person, knew about this secret. That's my theory for now. So see, I'm beginning to have theories, a lot of them, about different situations. I think that we're close to the end of this season too. I need to have answers because I know that you guys, it was not planned for you to have a season 3. Meaning that they need to give me all of the answers to my questions during this season 2. This season 2 was supposed to be the end of the show, so I need to have all of my answers before the end of this season 2. Do you understand what I mean? And I know that the movie was there to tell us the story about Laura, the last days of Laura, so I know that the movie was not planned to give the answers that the season 2 didn't give. I know that. And you know, on the other hand, I'm like, really? Can we stop talking about Josie? Like, really? It's gonna give us time on screen to do other things and for me she's not that important her story is not that important anymore like that's it we closed it let's finish that only that box that Eckhart wanted to give to Catherine that maybe it can give some answers again no more new questions <laughs> please Nadine is she gonna go back to reason at some point Leo is he gonna be released at some point Or is he gonna become the new window? So many questions. I need answers. Shelly and Gordon together, I'm all for it. Even if I appreciate Bobby and appreciated also that he was there for Shelly during the entire season one, I can see also that it has been some episodes that he doesn't care about her, he's not really present for her. Now that Leo is not there, now that this opportunity to have money is not there anymore, Bobby is not really considering Shelly when Gordon is really complimenting her, being there for her, so I'm all for it. Okay, I'm gonna stop this intro right now, let's go for this episode. From now on, on my Patreon, you have two episodes of Advance, it's a lot, it means in fact two weeks of Advance. On my Patreon, you have everything in full opacity and you have two options. The longer reaction part with the level 2 and the full reaction part with the level 3, everything, full opacity, all of the reaction part, all of the episode with the level 3. It's the best way to support me, my Patreon, that's why I'm giving you that in exchange on it, advantages. You know, it's a win-win for everyone. If you want to support me, you have my Patreon. If you want these advantages, you have my Patreon. I'm working hard to give you these advantages on it. Let's go, guys, for this episode. Rusty. What was Rusty's last name? Was it Chomsky? He got me in with the van. Oh, we're supposed to play a gig in Knife River, but a tire on the van cracked out. Then you met someone. Yeah, this guy, this guy came out of the woods. Bigfoot or something. He's wearing a weird suit. And we talked to him for a while. And He said he had some brew, you know, we would really like some. So Rusty put it with him. We are telling to children, you know, to kids, to not follow weird guys offering candies. We should say to these guys to not follow a guy offering beer. What do you know about saving our planet? Yeah. And you know what?
that day. That day? In 24 hours, I will choose the father of my child. You're gonna choose? What does that have to do with the Miss Twin Peaks contest? I mean, we could use the money. So, I have to make a speech about saving our planet. Which is a great concept, but I have no idea how to go about it. It's not a concept, my dear, but okay. I do know that people have got to stop sinking their beer cans in Pearl Lake when they're fishing. And, um, styrofoam never dies for as long as you live. It doesn't? Another period of time. Another period of time, it's not their fault. The insurance company sent me so many forms that I could get a heart attack just lifting them. You're fine. It's what's in your heart you should be worried about. I know that I have given you reason to doubt me. But I am only interested in doing the right thing. For everybody. And stay away from my lead. I can't. Not as long as the lie survives. Which lie? Ben, it's not that simple. I applaud your desire to do the right thing. The goodness in you is... It's like a time bomb. There's nothing good about ruined lives. It is a confusing and difficult process. If it would be about protecting his but wife and his daughter, sorry. the doctor right there would be more... No? Ah, excuse me. And uh, be careful, please. Is it a threat? I'm looking for Audrey. Oh, should we not get him in? Is it something so usual? Okay, so it's really about you, about who is your dad? Ben is your dad? For me it was that other guy, you know, that Wyndham played to be. Trust him with that. But what about Starkos? How am I supposed to get a hold of you? Damn, this ring for us business anyway. I handle this without me. I know how. I'm afraid that I'm weak. But I'm not weak. But I'm hard to believe. Tell the hardest truth first. Just do the best you can. It's all you can do. Well, I'm sorry that Audrey wasn't here. She was! You did not. I have the deck too, yeah. What have you gleaned? Earl was the best and brightest among us. But when our attention turned from outer space to the wooded areas surrounding Twin Peaks, Earl acted in an overzealous and secretive manner. He was removed from the project. Okay. I found this and the project. Can I explain why you knew what to do with this stick, you know? White Lodge, Black Lodge. Gentlemen, when Wyndham Earl arrived in Twin Peaks, I assumed he had come for vengeance. Mm -hmm. For me. But all of these acts are merely camouflage. He's been after something else all along. I think both. I think that first it's a revenge against you, second, he's continuing his mission. For me, it's a map. Alright. Harry, we're going to go through these files from top to bottom. Major, I think you better hit the sack. I could use a good stretch. Or I have to walk in the woods to clear my mind. Oh, no, you're going to disappear for days, okay. Let's do it. I need this song to... Uh, the art! I would like to ask Major Briggs a question of three. Polish up that bald nub of his and see what shines. Yes, you don't care about that game. Yeah. 
We too should venture out for a good stretch. Wine, cheese, talk about old times, drink the lyrics, and go to the old days. Leo? Planning something? What? And that's the only way we're ever going to save the trees. It's time to stand up and kick some butt for our environment. Before it's too late for all of us. It's beautiful. It's very perfect. I don't know about the kick butt part. It's time to stand up and fight for our environment. Much better. I've been thinking about us. Let's uh. Yeah. You're still interested, Shelly? I thought that you were not at all. Not anymore. I think that you're the best, Shelly. I'm not sure that I would have <laughs> taken him back, you know, like, uh, not sure. Gordon was really nice, complimenting her a lot, seeing her truly. Each of you received a piece of this poem, each in a curious manner, along with this invitation. Can you remember a curious person that you met? Have any of you had contact recently with a stranger? Someone who struck you as peculiar, personable, or just plain puzzle? Well, there was a strange guy who said he was a friend of my father's. Same day I got the phone and got a $10 tip for a cup of coffee. That's unusual. And there was a funny old guy at the library who asked me to read the poem to him. All three. I want each of you to check in with the sheriff twice a day. 9 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock at night. You walk to school, you drive to work, make sure that you do not do so alone. You're right to Please be careful be about them, but you should be careful also about any. You're in danger. We are. Shall Just between you and me, old boy, your wife has some fairly modern views on marital fidelity. She is still all fit for a queen. I think that he wants to protect her. I think that if only one person can kill her, it's him. You know, into his mind from what he thinks. He's mocking you, he's mocking you. He's mocking you. Oh, poor Leo. <laughs> we, we're all on school. 